Chris Chinock here in the Sony booth at Infocom 2014. Uh, I've just had a rundown of what they're showing in the in the booth here this year. Uh, actually, some very uh, very interesting stuff they're showing. Uh, let's start with they calling they calling uh, Vision a Presenter, and uh, I I kind of see this as and this is my words uh, kind of a, a reaction or or an alternative to the Brio or ClickShare uh, uh, collaboration products from Christie and Barco, for example. Uh, but this is really a software version of that, whereas theirs are much more hardware-oriented. Uh, so the build, uh, the, they've built basically uh, uh, an interface layer in software. It's, a, it's based on HTML. Uh, and it allows you to create a number of, uh, of templates. Uh, so you can have, uh, in this case, they're showing back here uh, a 4K panel that has a number of, uh, of preview windows and then a kind of a main area. Uh, you can also do this with uh, two blended projectors. They have templates that, uh, and they're demonstrating that in the other part of the booth where you've got a blended projection palette uh, and, and basically you can create a number of, of, of input windows and, and larger uh, parts of the display uh, and then kind of uh, thumbnail areas. And uh, you can add uh, interactivity to this with a, with a camera so you can kind of swipe from one area uh, to the next to make that the... the, the, the uh, the presentation or the input of interest. Uh, it can support uh, video inputs. It can support PowerPoint. Uh, it can support uh, camera. Uh, so they can, you can integrate security cameras from Sony into this with control of those. So you can have live camera feeds. You can have uh, basically assets that are almost anywhere uh, on the enterprise. It can be linked through a PC. Uh, and the size of that PC uh, is dependent on the application and the number of uh, of assets or uh, inputs that you need for that. So you might need one, one video capture card. You might need one or more uh, GPUs to support this. Uh, and then you have the software application layer on top, uh, which allows you to interact with all these assets in a, in a collaborative uh, environment. Uh, so they're selling that for about uh, $10,000 uh, for the software license, basically for one uh, kind of display solution, whether that's a projector, uh, two projector solution, or a, or a flat panel. Um, and, and customers, of course, can basically configure their PC any way they see fit. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. Now uh, let's talk about some of the projectors that they've also introduced here. Um, new this year uh, is what they call the VPL FHS 700. Uh, this was actually demonstrated and debuted at the Display Summit conference as part of the Lamp versus Laser uh, demo room, uh, and was discussed uh, during that event. Uh, they're now showing it in the in the booth here. Uh, this is a 7,000 lumen uh, laser phosphor uh, projector. Uh, it has, um, it's rated at uh, 20,000 hours of lifetime, uh, starting from full brightness. Uh, now, if you're running it in, in standard mode or eco mode, you can actually get either longer lifetime or it won't be down to that 50% uh, brightness level at 20,000 hours. So it depends kind of on your, on your use mode. Uh, benefits of this, uh, seven seconds uh, for um, instant on, so picture on the wall in seven seconds. Uh, it has a uh, picture mute, uh, which is kind of a new term they've coined. Basically, they turn the lasers off to a, a completely black screen, not that uh, kind of gray black that you'd have in a normal, uh, normal projector. Uh, it also has an option for HD base T. Uh, I asked Sony about HD base T adoption, uh, and they seem to say that they're getting pull for this uh, in the education market. Uh, the reason being the longer cable links that they have to run uh, content, uh, as well as the multiple sources. So you just configure a, a, a router or switcher with all your sources, one Cat5 cable to the projector, you're done. Uh, very nice solution. Uh, so this, uh, the 7,700 rather, Z700 uh, available uh, somewhere in the September time frame uh, for around uh, 17.5 uh, uh, US dollars. Uh, also new is the X SW630. Uh, this is an ultra short throw uh, XGA, uh, wide XGA uh, projector, 3,100 lumens for the education market. Um, and also new is the, uh, the 375. Uh, this is a 5,000 lumen, uh, 1920 by 1200, uh, also with an HD base T uh, option uh, focused on the, uh, the education market. 
maybe the most interesting uh, product they're showing here is a brand new uh, product. That, uh, it is a short throw 4K, a true 4K, so 4096 uh, by 2160 um, projector system. So th this, is, this is showing in the back corner of, of the booth right now. Really nice looking content, uh, 4K and a, and a native uh, 4K aspect ratio. Throw distance looked to me to be about uh, maybe uh, maybe two feet or so. A fairly large box, but that package may may change according to them. Uh, again, uh, and and laser phosphor based. So Sony had talked about uh, a similar product, a short throw home theater projector. Uh, I, I'm sure that was not laser phosphor based, at, uh, but this one is. Uh, so the first. 4K laser phosphor based short throw, I would think home theater or perhaps corporate uh, aimed uh, applications. Uh, no pricing on that yet, uh, but uh, 20,000 hour uh, lifetime on that uh, as well. Uh, in addition, they're showing some uh, very nice demos, uh, blended projectors, a couple of blended projector demos, one on a curved screen, one on a flat, uh, and uh, perhaps the most impressive blend uh, is four, uh, four of their uh, 4K projectors, the S, uh, S, SRX uh, T15, uh, that's an 18,000 lumen uh, SXRD uh, 4K projector. They got four of those blended to make uh, an 8K by 4K image. That looks uh, really good. I don't know how big that screen is, maybe 200 inches. Uh, very impressive. Uh, so that's the summary of the demos here at the Sony booth uh, at Infocom 2014. Uh, Chris Chenock for Display Central.